Republican Congressman from North Carolina and member of the House Financial Services Committee, Ted Budd. Congressman, thank you for taking time. Uh, you may have just heard your colleague, Matt Carwright, a Democrat, making the case that Build Back Better will ease inflationary pressures. What say you? Look, they say that this thing pays for itself. Well, why would they need 87,000 more IRS agents to go into people's bank accounts to uh, increase the revenues for the government if this thing is free, as Joe Biden says? It's trying to fix problems that aren't real problems. But uh, look, what we need is real infrastructure, not what the Democrats did last week, which only 9% of it was about real roads and bridges. This is essentially about more of the Green New Deal, and it's completely out of touch with regular working Americans. It's one of the things that's driving up the cost of life right now for people on fixed incomes. Look, I was with uh, uh, President uh, Trump last week, and he said that Jimmy Carter is ecstatic right now because uh, Joe Biden has made him the second worst president in history. The cost of living is out of hand, and it's all because of what the Biden administration is doing. And this Build Back Better next week is going to make it worse. You mentioned the pain Americans are feeling from the grocery store to the gas pump. It's obvious everything is costing more inflation, up 30-year high. But let me ask you, since you mentioned the infrastructure bill, uh, why not vote for it? Why not get the roads and bridges and get people back to job building things and, and put them in jobs? If you're if you are a you know a, a regular hardworking American or just a regular person, you want real infrastructure. It doesn't matter if you're a Democrat or Republican. But why spend 1.2 trillion dollars as they did last week, and only nine percent of that has anything to do with roads and bridges, which help real Americans out there. It is about things that we don't need with money that we don't have. It, it is absolutely out of touch with regular Americans, and essentially that was just a gateway drug to the Green New Deal. Congressman, your colleague, Congressman Cartwright said, no one goes to school for how to go into a pandemic and come out, and that's a valid point. But in terms of going to school, you dropped a bill just 48 hours ago about the education. What is that bill? I mean, we're seeing comments come out of the White House, like Jen Psaki saying that high gas prices are good for America. That's completely out of touch. I was on uh, the, the phone with a constituent last week, and she said she's on a fixed income. She doesn't know how she's going to make it because they, people have figured out for decades how to make it on a fixed income, but you can't do it with a inflation that's as worse than it's been in 40 years. I think the Biden administration needs to go back to school to study inflation, and that's what my bill does. It's absolutely out of touch with regular America, and it's hurting folks day in and day out. So just so our viewers are clear, your bill, you're proposing requiring every member of the Biden White House to complete an inflation education course. But would that really change things? And is it your view then that this administration's policies are putting us on a path that we're not going to recover anytime soon? Well, what you're seeing is an administration that's completely out of touch. They don't understand the cost of inflation for real folks. And we saw that out of Jim Psaki's mouth this week absolutely tragic when she says something like high gas prices are good for America. I don't, I don't know uh, what she's been spoken or where, where she's been, but this is, this is absolutely out of touch. And what, what they need is real education. I mean, if they want free education, absolutely. We're going to give them that education that says they need to study inflation and how it's absolutely theft for regular hardworking Americans. All right, let me play devil's advocate with you, and that is the American people spoke loudly in the Virginia and New Jersey election, and one of the things that voters were upset with was that nothing's getting done in Washington. So as we look at, obviously, Democrats in control of the White House, Senate, and House, how much responsibility do Republicans like yourself have to help ease the pain Americans are feeling? Well, Griff, yeah, look, I, I think stopping a lot of the bad ideas is a lot of what Republicans need to be doing right now. Look, we want to get things done uh, for America, and we want to be a stronger country because the world is a better place when America is a strong country. But everything that the left is doing, everything that the Democrats and the Biden administration are doing right now hurts America. It, uh, they're trying to cram an agenda down, uh, down parents' throats. They're trying to uh, uh, criminalize parents who are stepping up and, and speaking out at, at, through the First Amendment rights at school board meetings. Uh, they're completely backwards. So I think stopping their agenda is actually good for folks right now. 
Uh, we need to win in 2022, but we really need to go back to what made America great, and the Democrats aren't doing that right now. It's not re necessarily Republican or Democrat issues. It's the principles, the timeless principles that made our country great. And those principles are embedded in the Constitution in the, the declaration, and we, we, we have to get back to that right now because it's, it's, it's tragic uh, what the Democrats are doing. It's going to be an interesting midterms next November. Congressman Ted Budd yes, from North Carolina. Congressman, thank you very much.